Blow me, it was a goalless draw there as well. So the scenes of joy at Bolton at the top of the second division. We move now to the third division. And I wonder what odds you'd have got at the start of the season for Cambridge United to get promotion. Fresh up from the fourth division, a modest ground, crowds hovering around the 5,000 mark, but an amazing run that put them within touching distance of promotion. Indeed, all they required yesterday was a point at home to Exeter to make sure that a fairy tale came true. So they'd got the champagne ready at Cambridge. Anglia's cameras were there too. Commentator Jerry Harrison, Cambridge are in the stripes. Giles wins that one well. Howard. Barker got that one first. Keith Barker, who had two years here at Cambridge. Didn't do all that well, though. It's a giveaway. Back to Bowker. Well played by Cousins, robbing Randall. Cousins for Spriggs. This is dangerous now because there's space for him. And, and a beautiful effort by Alan Byley. And a save from Richard Key to match the header. That was a really fine bit of play by both individual players and indeed by Steve Spriggs who chipped that one for. A flashing diving header by Alan Byley and Richard Key is down there super. Ingham flicks on, Balco, a lot of room here to Kello and a brilliant save. Denied there by Malcolm Webster at his flying best. But Cambridge very wide open there as that ball came through much faster than actually they usually play. Balka finding Kello wide on that right with a lot of room and on his right foot hits it well. But Webster really rising to the occasion. In for Howard. Their return. And giving it straight to Randall. Now they could be in trouble as he tries to play one forward to Ingham. And Fallon very strong and quick. And away he comes. Gonna have a go at Templeman, is he? Ingham's coming back for him. Oh, he's very strong. And in beautifully. Hatch into the arms of Key. Well, what a superb run there that almost set up Gordon Sweetson. And a really exciting moment in this second half. Inspired by 60, 70 yard run by the centre half, Steve Fallon. Holding off Ingham. And then finally setting up Sweeter. But it's Bauka going here. He's got it in. As the crowd stunned, not so much by the goal, but by the announcement on the Tannoy. As the ball was pushed forward to Keith Bauker, the former Cambridge United player, who never really made a mark here. And now he's made a, a real impression on this game. Referee checking that Kello got some uh, blood on his face there, was in a fit state to continue. And Tom Finney. Well, crazy scenes here, a crowd coming on, there are notes in the programme and there are messages on the loudspeaker beforehand, please keep off the pitch. Well, unfortunately, they take no notice of that and spoiling what is a good fight back here by Cambridge as that corner was swung over and Tom Finney got in there to knock it in. Kello almost in there. Stringer pretty strong. Not offside. There's actually a push-up, but not conclusively. His body goes for a great one. Richard Key pulling everything out of there and holding them too. Tremendous drive there by Alan Bailey. Key really didn't get his body behind it, but his hands are very, very safe. Dave Stringer's up. So too is Fallon. Up goes Fallon here. And on they come again. I'm sorry to say, but delighted that Fallon has put them 2-1 into the lead. Well, a sad sight that so many people should be mobbing Fallon. But a 
marvellous thing for Cambridge United that Fallon, this dominating centre-half, was able to get up there so cleanly on the far post and knock another corner in. The corner comes over, Fallon always seemed to have his name on this one, and in she goes for 2-1 in the lead with five minutes left. And there's the whistle for the end of the game, and on they come, off the players go. The first goal by Balka looked so bad for Cambridge, but then the Tom Finney put one in from a corner, then Steve Fallon put another one in from a corner, and so after being behind with 18 minutes left, Cambridge United win this one by two goals to one, and they head for the second division. An extraordinary story, elected to the Football League only in 1970, they get promotion in consecutive years. So the final score, Cambridge 2, Exeter 1, means that Cambridge are promoted and it doesn't matter what happens to Preston and Peterborough. Fantastic performance and clearly it's going to test their modest resources next season in the second division, but it's something to have got there. The third division promotion sides then are Wrexham, Cambridge and one from Preston and Peterborough. Uh, you can see there that uh, Preston have finished their programme. Peterborough's last game is at Wrexham. So what a finish there is still to come.